Bonsoir LMs, yesterday we were having this conversation and you were saying, you know what, you know, we're going to go into the grand final, we're going to be a bit more comfortable, let's see what we can do against G2, try our best. And I I'm very proud to say, I was here when BDS took it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> I have no words, sorry, but uh, I have no words. Uh, completely understandable. I mean, at the end of this, I just want to really ask you about it. Uh, looking at the map pool, right? The, the maps that you ended up playing in this series, you had Villa, Oregon Cafe, and Clubhouse, and Consulate was the auto win for G2. When you looked at that uh, entire big pick ban phase, did that trouble you as BDS, or did you feel comfortable attempting these, this, uh, this map, this pool? Mm. So yeah, at the start of the um, of the best of five, uh, we knew they had like one map advantage, so it would be very hard. Um, we know we know that Villa was their peak, and they are pretty good at Villa. Uh, we 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 practiced Villa sometimes, uh, long long time ago. Like we didn't play it so for a while, to be honest. So it was kind of surprising to just like succeed to put rounds just by communication, good hype, good energy, uh, ideas from everyone. So after that map. We, we knew that we lost from uh, like 8-7, uh, it was so close. So we're like, okay guys, it's their map, they won. Okay, by, by what by Y round, one round, sorry. But we have three other maps and those three other maps, uh, it's our maps. So we have to put them two maps. So after we just uh, play our game on each map, uh, reset mental on each map. I uh, we don't we don't have a coach, so yeah. I, I took the the role of that. Uh, I, I'm the, the captain of the team, so I was like, okay guys, uh, each round uh, one by round, uh, we need to to play round by round. We play our game, uh, reset mental on every maps. We need to to talk each other when there is a problem. We need to to cheer for for each other, like to know like put some put uh, someone down. We need to we need to do all those kind of things and and. Do victory will be ours yeah in the end you you hype up one another you make sure everybody's on point um i wonder compared to six invitational um the biggest change when it comes to your communication did, did you see is this the bds that you swore you wanted to be after your top run at uh, six invitational yeah, of course, of course. Uh, that that that's why we we bring Bride because uh, Bride is the kind of player that uh, bring a lot of uh, like call uh, adaptations idea. Uh, he drones uh, the way that he drones. Uh, it's very good. Mm -hmm. He can tell us what's happening on site, what we should do. Um, so yeah, of course, of course. The, this is the the the, the BDS uh, we wanted to have. And Renshiro. I mean, <laughs> let's let's be honest. Renshi is. A player that I have been applauding and talking about since my first day casting Pro League way back when at the beginning of 2017 and I, I'm, I'm so happy to see him still performing but how is it for you guys because from our perspectives we could only see that there's an empty window and Renshiro is sitting on it for half of the round but how do you kind of direct him and putting him in, in the right spot and what is uh, a bit more light that you can shed on his role with BDS? So Ranchiro, I think, is one of the um, of the underrated player. Agreed. Like he's uh, he's so underrated. Like uh, people don't know how good Ranchiro is. Like he's a very calm person, very positive. You ask him to do that, he's just do it. He, you ask him to play uh, Amaru, Kali, whatever, he just plays it. Like he, he asks no questions. Yeah. You ask him to do that, he just do it. And um, and yeah, he's a guy that is uh, not uh, maybe the best at uh, calling stuff because uh, he's more focused on aim. But when you have a range hero on your team, I can tell you that if you tell him to hold something, he will hold it. Well, uh, in the end, he's going to be holding that trophy. He's going to be holding a lot of money for you guys, 62.5k uh, dollars at the end of the day. And so many six invitational points that are bonuses, 285 in total. This is going to give you a very close position to making it to six invitational for the second year in a row. So really big for the team. At the end of the day, um, anything you'd like to say to your opponents, maybe G2 in this one? Yeah. Good job, G2. Good match. But we won. You won indeed. Very much uh, deserved. It was a very close game the entire time. One of the most entertaining and some of the best matches that we've seen through the entirety of 2020. But now, to the fans. LMs, uh, I will let you address anybody you'd like, please. 
go ahead. Yeah, so yeah, I would like to thank uh, everyone who supporting BDS uh, and me. Uh, I would like to thank my girlfriend, my uh, cat, oh. my mom, my brother, uh, you for the casting and the interview. Uh, I would thanks also to all the BDS staff who's behind the scene and um, all the BDS fans who are supporting us uh, through the chat. So thanks you guys. And we have uh, a sentence in French which say uh, ramenez la coupe à la maison. <laughs> we said. Uh, <laughs> We come back with the trophy. Yeah, bring the, the trophy back home. And yeah, I mean, uh, last time there was a big trophy that you guys were able to, to kind of lift. That was way back when you were still on IDK. It was DreamHack Valencia back in 2018. And that was when the French national team in, in football uh, gathered that, that trophy back home. But uh, today it's BDS that gathers it for Europe. So who knows? Maybe at the next international LAN event, we'll see BDS even better than what we saw overall in 2020. Um, Alems, uh, this is it. This is goodbye. I, I'm, I'm so proud to, to see your growth over the past few years. And um, honestly, I can't wait to see BDS in stage two. Any teasers for that? No. No. no? Just no teasers. No teasers. We are just going to keep working as a team, as a unit, work on uh, new strategies, work on uh, our gun skill, because on Europe it's very important mm -hmm. to have good gun skill. It's uh, pretty pretty based on um, on gun skill sometimes, so we're going to work and, and keep going. The, the goal is to, to stay uh, at the same level. Well, BDS, an absolute unit in EU. Congratulations again to you guys, to, to BDS, to the players, to France. Uh, at the end of the day, it's a, it's a big day for everybody. Finally, a French team able to be victorious in EU. It has been a long time, let's be honest. LMs, thank you again, and we hope to see you in stage two. All right, see you. Bye-bye.